Well, you can't just say something like that and walk off. Where are we even supposed to go? Well, I don't know. Manchester, Magaluf, the moon. Ben's whole family's here. His job's here. How am I supposed to convince him to leave all that behind? Mm, you're right. Sounds like too much hassle. Probably easier to explain why you lied about being pregnant. Your choice. Is Exeter far enough away for you? Ben's agreed to go. He loves me enough to follow me anywhere. <laughs> You've changed your tune? Yes, I have. And I should never have been stupid enough to listen to your silly little threats. Ben would never believe your word over mine. You're really willing to put that to the test, are you? We may not have a perfect relationship, but he puts me first. And that means believing what I tell him or going somewhere he doesn't want to go if I ask him to. Oh, I don't expect you to understand. No one's ever felt that way about you. Not even your own mum and dad. The bad news for you is that I put Ben first too, which is why I'm going to tell him to stay. What? I grew up with Ben, unlike you, and he has never had the relationship with his dad that he does now. This is where he belongs. They're toxic. They don't even like each other. Everyone would be better off if they're miles apart. <laughs> it's not Ben's fault. Your mum couldn't care less about you. <laughs> and having feel to yourself isn't going to solve that. Face it, you can't touch me. <laughs> So do your worst, little girl.